today we're testing a bochet at five different strengths. Let's get started. All right, so here's what happened. A really nice man named William has sent me some honey and I said, well, what can I do with this? So I decided to test a bochet five different strengths or times. So essentially what I did was I took all, really six pounds of honey in total, and I put it into a pot. Now I did pull one pound off as a regular non bocheted version, but I bocheted the other five pounds for a, uh, about a total of an hour and 15 minutes. However, every 15 minutes I would pull one pound off and put it into a separate container. So I used this recipe on the screen and made what's gonna come out to be about a quarter gallon of mead each. As I was going along, um, I went ahead and pulled each one. You can see there's a big color difference, spectrum change over time, and we now have ourselves a really nice, pretty rainbow of Boucher colors, but more specifically, we have five different levels of Boucher. So we are now going to let these ferment. I am treating them with some Fermate O for yeast nutrient. I want to see what these things taste like and how the caramelizing or caramelization of the honey at different times affects a mead. So here I am adding about half a teaspoon of Fermate O to each one. It obviously degassed a little bit. And then the primary was finished. It took roughly about 30 days for everything to run through. So here are my gravity readings. Now you can see that each one ended at a different final gravity. I saw them start to clear up, took some gravity readings, and, and this is what we have. Now I'm fairly confident these are done because it's been long enough and uh, I saw them clear up quite a bit. So we are going to go ahead and bottle them because I do not want to leave any headspace on them. So I am bottling two bottles of each one and I will be doing a taste test with half the bottles very soon and then I will wait about a year to do the other taste test. So let's go ahead and jump to the taste test for the first time. Here we are for the um, final tasting of this uh, interesting experience, experiment, I will say. So I've already debriefed them on what's happened. Essentially, you've already seen it. We're gonna get to tasting. You've been debriefed. You've been debriefed. <laughs> you've been declassified. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just gonna taste and give me your notes. Okay. These are, are not all dry. I do have gravity readings I can tell you as we go along. Um, some of them went dry, some didn't. Did, did, did you notice a trend that they went drier? Not quite, no, because in the middle ground, um, you know, the one that is the sweetest is actually not the last one. You'd think it would be the finale, but mm. it's, it's the previous two. Okay. Oh, so, okay. I don't know. It Also, one fact, I, I tried to do the pH check mm -hmm. on this because I was curious, but my, I had that crappy little pH meter, mm -hmm. and I... I just didn't trust the results. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I threw those out. Those readings didn't really matter. Okay. Um, so, the, sorry, no pH readings for you. Not today. Not today. So let's start with number one. So one bit is the straight up, as it is, as it was, no bocheng. <clears throat> and down. is there any back sweetening? Or are these nope, all, these are okay. all, I left them, left them dry. Well, not dry, but. Plain Jane, uh, traditional. Mm-hmm. So what's the age on these? January, beginning, uh, okay. I think the middle of January. So we're about okay. three, three and a half months. months. Yeah. <clears throat> so it tastes like a young traditional mead. It does, yes. Final gravity on this was, it was dry, 1.000. This one actually went dry. As it should. non bochade honey. Mm -hmm. So it's just wildflower honey? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is honey sent to me by somebody. And uh, this was. It was perfect for this test because each one was one pound of honey. So it kind of. Thank you, William. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> planned it out perfectly. So, what yeast did you use for these? Ooh, I'll just, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it was clover honey. Said so the wrong thing. Okay. And it was D47. D47, D47. one of my faves. <clears throat> I like the. There is a little sweetness left, there's, there's which there's is kind of nice. The uh, it, it does not feel completely dry. No, it's a. It's definitely young. It's got that that bite to it, but it's uh, mm -hmm. a little smoother because of the sweetness. It's yeah. not bad. I mean, it, like it's age, I think it will it will mellow and become nicer. It is a little hot. There's some yeah, heat. a little bit. 
So I mean, it's sitting at 13, 14%. So it's going to take a bit. Ooh. Yeah, so so young. All right, number two, which is 15 minutes of Boche time. Have you ever done a Boche of just 15 minutes before? Mm-mm. I don't think I've ever done one that short. No, but there's a change. At that point, you're just like pasteurizing the honey in some form or fashion. There's there's a little bit of like just a slightest bit of caramel in there. Yeah, the very top, mm-hmm. top of it. It's not so uh, mm-hmm. in your face. Yeah, it's like it takes the edge. I feel like there's a little more edge on the on this, and it's taking <laughs> some of that edge off. It's got yeah, it's got a little bit of a dulce de leche that like milky oh, caramely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind not of, not uh, like a just like turned sugar, but like a bland. Yeah, taste. Mm-hmm. something a little bit soft. Yeah, yeah. It's rounder. It's got a rounder profile. That's interesting. Perhaps short. It makes me wonder if there like if there's a, a bell curve of roundness, and then you start to get more acidic mm-hmm. as it mm-hmm. bouches more. Like I wonder if we're gonna see a trend. Like oh, this feels nicer, and then whoosh. I do agree. More That's round. Sweet. The sweetness yeah. is not as. Not as prominent. Yeah, prominent. Yeah. But they are both, they, they've they ended at 1.000. So these are both dry. Air quotes. Dry. <clears throat> hmm. That's not bad, though. You do get some, like, apple-y um, kind of, I feel like, fruity character in here. Yeah, there's a little bit of something. <laughs> it, it feels a bit more acidic than the first one. You get like yes. a... Like, if I let it linger in the back of my throat a little bit. I pick up some of that bite. Yeah. Like almost a citrus bite. Mm-hmm. Uh, like pithy almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like the back of my mouth. Well, let's move mm-hmm. on to number three then. Number three is 30 minutes. So we're, we're cre- increasing slightly. And this is where the color really started to change. The mm-hmm. first two don't really have a big color difference. But this one was the first one to yeah. change. Mm. This That's one good. ended sweeter. 10-10, really like final gravity. Again, there's some of that pithiness. It's interesting. Because uh, you would almost call it bitter, but it's not like astringent. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like a little bit of acid and a little bit of bitter. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kind of and I, I think it adds complexity that number two and number one were lacking. Yeah. It's like a grapefruit almost. Like a mm-hmm. bit of the, <clears throat> the aftertaste. Yeah. Number one just kind of had that nice sweetness to it, but no no acid balance kind of situation. Very Two had that little bit of acid. So, I mean, this is getting closer to, or probably more prominent, uh, acid adjustment, which I, we haven't done any acid mm-hmm. adjustments in this. Hmm. Okay. Plus, um, I don't know if it's just the caramelizing, but the caramelizing is not as punchy to me. I notice it more in two than I do in three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is interesting. You'd think it would be more caramely over time. Let's see though. Number four. Let's find out. Again, nice color change. Yeah, this almost looks like beer. Yeah. At that point. <laughs> and they all what's fun about this, these oh, all wow. cleared up completely naturally. This yeah. was I bottled these about a month and a half after primary, and the last three just cleared up on their own. In fact they like it was very weird. So Some of my favorite so far. Mm. I liked. I really liked three because it had that nice balance Ooh. between the between one and two. I haven't tried these at all. So this is inter- this is now peeking into the whiskey kind of mm. territory to me. This is part of why I like the Bochets is because mm. you get that that caramel caramel note, but then also like a little a smoky, a little peatiness. Yeah, I get yeah. a little bit of that poking out here now, like a the baby Lafroy. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I like this one. Yeah, I, like, I really liked <coughs> three and four so far. It did end a little sweeter. Ten, eighteen is the final on this one. Yeah, I could do with a little bit more of the pithiness that we were picking up in three. Uh huh. In four, because I feel like, like Lost you said, it, it balances out in in a more interesting way. But I like the that denser caramel flavor that we're getting in four. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to number five then so this is a whole hour of boche time one hour that's about what i do usually i normally do 45 45 yeah. and who knows maybe this is a deciding point what do you like to do i mean this will definitely help inform yeah that's for sure it's very caramely in the nose it is 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like caramel it. apple on the nose. His Ooh, after three definitely. and four, just completely diametrically opposed to the first two. Oh yeah, five and three taste nothing alike. That's that's very interesting. <clears throat> five does it's. It, now that I've said caramel apple, that's all I can think of. But <laughs> yeah. it's got that... That citrusy... That tartness. Uh-huh. Like that juiciness. But also the caramelized sugars are really... I feel like the acidity out. is presented in different manners, too. Because mm-hmm. like that acidity we saw in, in two was mm. not the same. You know, it just like... It became more, more bitterness, I would say. Kind of flattened itself out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it became subdued. Yeah. I feel like, because two to me has a lot of sharpness to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one and two were definitely very full. But then it, it just sort of blankets that over time. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That leads us to our finale. Six, an hour and 15 minutes of Boucher time. Wow. Ooh, you can definitely ch- yeah. <laughs> get a change. The, the color change between these two is pretty drastic, too. 15 yeah. minutes. I don't know if it was just the heat I was doing, but there's a large change. I guess there's also like the the variable of quantity. Yeah, you know, you're going that was, six pounds down to one. I pound. was considering that, and I was like, I can't change. You know, I mean, I can't move it out of into a smaller pot. It's like I'm kind of stuck. So mm-hmm. theoretically, they both shade maybe quicker. Possibly this test, yeah. but I don't know how else you would do it. You can't both shade. Yeah, well, a both shade is always different. totally different. Yeah. That would Boche be a lot. Just, just pull it. Clean it a lot of a lot of pots. But then you also. You have to get the same heat every time. You know, you'd like you'd have to have the exact same variable of heat to time ratio. Which, how the heck are you going to measure that? Huh? In a vacuum. <laughs> I'm not as big a fan. <laughs> of Go this to one. space. <laughs> the final frontier. This, I do feel like that that curve of bitterness has returned, has hit, and it this six, the last one has definitely got bitterness. The caramel notes are there, but it's not rounded. We've kind of it's oaky. It's almost mm-hmm. a little oaky. Yeah, yeah. It definitely has. I wouldn't call it like a woodiness, but it definitely has like a tannin and a mm-hmm. smokiness. Again, peatiness. Yeah. Like a. Like yeah, like if you if you had told me that you'd like left a little bit of whiskey with a, a ice cube in it overnight, <laughs> I, I I might believe you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. Um, I want you to choose which one of these is your favorite and say why. You don't have to rank them. Let's not worry about that. Let's, let's just say which one's your favorite. Okay. Um, I would say four is probably my favorite out of all of these <clears throat> because it does the it does a really drastic change from the first two and three even. It marks that or flips the acidity over into this smoother profile. I'm with you. I think is four it? is the best of the six, and I think it's because it strikes the right balance, which I guess makes sense since it's kind of in the middle. Yeah. But you've you've got not too much acid, but not too much caramel, mm-hmm. and you're not creeping into the like juicy fruity mm. area that we got to up in here. I so I'm teetering between four and five, and my big thing is five does have just a little bit more acidity. That mm-hmm. 15 minutes of time has created just a tinge more acidity. Acidity that has uh, distracted from some of the characters that I like in four. I think you, you know, can. I think you're right. There's a balance there. Five is close, but if that acidity were tempered down just a hair, it would honestly round it out and make it better. Because if you smell fives and six, there you can. Definitely notice the acidity more in five. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, this has been, I think, a lot of fun. I, I I don't know that there's a perfect disclaimer. There's not a perfect time for Boucher. You're not going to get the exact right amount of time. But it seems like our results have kind of shown going on extremes of either or. You know, 15-minute Boucher, you're getting a little bit of development, not necessarily a lot. Going all the way to an hour 15 plus might be pushing it. Yeah. On, d- depending on your honey, of course, or your goal. You could use Boucher honey to do whatever. You know, you might add it to try to add more character. But as a strict Boucher only, <laughs> the suicide glass. <laughs> I yeah, had to, I had to know. Okay, we to find well, out. All right, all right. All right. It's happening. I strategically drank all my glasses so they would be at the same level. Well, you <laughs> might 
Whoops, too late. You've inspired a... Well, I, I don't know that it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, one more. Wait, this is how we'll, we'll end this video right here. The no, I, I do think that um, uh, my obviously preferred 45 minutes seems to be the time. But more, uh, I think the data we give is only valuable if you go and do something and give your experience and tell people down below. Yeah. Because we're just a group of people who've done this once. When you go and do this or you go test variables, you help us out, you help the community. So mm -hmm. comment below if you've done this and or you're going to do this. And uh, thank you guys for helping me with the tasting. Yeah, no, no, this, fun. Is a, this is a unique test. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never done this before. <laughs> Never done this. All right, cheers. Here we go. You know, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. It's very calm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's complex. The complexity.